by the way, you know who else is going to be in the new Obama film? You know what? I'm not going to announce it. This thing's got everybody. It's crazy. And uh, they all really make key points, and it all comes together as a synergy. Most of these guys don't even know each other, but uh, they're all on the same page for liberty and freedom. Okay, Bob, I got a bunch of rapid-fire questions. Yep. Barack Obama. Yeah. I mean, he said he wasn't going to hire lobbyists. In your own words, as we're also taping for the live film, you know, go over it. He's lied about not hiring lobbyists. He's lied about signing statements. He's lied about not raising taxes unless you're uh, above $250,000 a year. Uh, it's a huge stunt where they've moved some of the troops out of a few cities and redrawn the lines of Baghdad and five other cities where, where the bases are on the cities and the troops are there, but they're just now saying that isn't part of the city. They're playing all sorts of semantical and statistical games. They're increasing troops to 100,000 in Afghanistan and Pakistan. They're escalating the great game and divide and conquer there. I, I, I mean, can, I didn't like Slick Willie. I didn't like George W. Bush. I didn't like George Bush's daddy. I didn't like any of these guys. But Obama, he said, I mean it. I pledge. This is real. You can trust me. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, is he the New World Order closer? I mean, we know he's filled his administration with old brass of the neocons. And is it only people like Fox Phelan or Fallon quitting that are stopping him from uh, uh, attacking Iran with Biden saying, green light, baby, go in? I'm not sure, but I, I hope that Obama will return to what he knows is right. I mean, he is not... Uh, a bumbling ignoramus puppet like we've had. He is intelligence, he is articulate, he is charismatic, and this makes him far more dangerous than George W. Bush if he allows himself to be used. But because he is intelligent, because he used to be a community organizer, because of what he said in the past, I believe he really wants to do the right thing by the American people but he doesn't know how to do it. And we're going to tell him how to do it. But isn't that the best kind of Judas goat is somebody who believes that they're selling the magic elixir or whatever? Uh, I mean, I agree he's charismatic, he's slick, but he is reading off a teleprompter yep. written by the military industrial complex. I mean, can you speak to the teleprompter? I think that he is so intelligent that he's going to see through it at some point. And like Jimmy Carter, he's going to turn against his masters. And Carter had the presidency essentially taken out of his hands by his big new Brzezinski. Obama has the same mentor, his big new Brzezinski. And we know that there's going to be a struggle if Obama says... I'm not doing this anymore. I promised real change, and what I've given the American people is chump change. We're going to have real change, and I'm going to start serving the people, and you guys in the big corporations, you know, sorry about that. Well, Bob, he revels, though, and we'll talk more about this in the final segment coming up. He revels. When I'm watching him, his body language, he is relishing all these lies. He's relishing betraying the people. I mean, he is really getting into it. And uh, I know what I'm seeing on his face, and I know you're hoping that he'll reverse course. But, I mean, do you admit he has completely done a 180 from what he said he would do? Sure. Uh, he has done some good things. He has made some positive changes. But, like I say, the chump change. Token. Chump change. Uh, for him to, to really come around is going to be dangerous to him. Uh, Barack's... One weakness, it seems, is that he like he wants to be liked by everybody, including the global elites. And the fact is, you can't serve two masters. And he is at some point going to have to decide whether he's going to carry through on his pre-election pledges to serve us, the American people, or if he's going to continue to serve those global elites that he has surrounded himself with. All right, stay there. We got a break. Right back with Bob Bowman. What can you do to keep you and your family safe from the resistant new strains of deadly bacteria and viruses? Check out SupernaturalSilver.com today or visit the link on InfoWars.com to find out more about this incredible new silver compound. The new silver solution is a natural antibiotic that is clinically tested to kill viruses, germs, bacteria, and yeast safely. 
This new technology has proven itself to be a formidable weapon against bio threats of today and tomorrow. The new Silver Solution gel has been shown to disinfect topically and keep the area sanitized for up to four hours. The new Silver Solution is a highly effective, potent nanoparticle solution that is lethal to bacteria, yeast, and viruses. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and see the amazing line of products they have available. Check out the patented new Silver Solution today. Click on the link and check out the uses for new Silver Solution. Order this extra line of defense today by going to SupernaturalSilver.com. That's SupernaturalSilver.com today. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones, and I want each of you to ask yourself this question. Do you really know what's in your tap water? In a recent study conducted by a major environmental auditor, they found that over 260 chemicals and pollutants are present in municipal drinking water. Many of these chemicals are directly linked to cancer, reproductive, immune, and developmental system diseases. Now, what are you going to do about it? The Ecola Blue Atmospheric Water Generator is a low-cost way to take back control of you and your family's drinking water. The Ecola Blue 28 produces up to 7 gallons of water from the humidity in the atmosphere and uses state-of-the-art carbon filtration, reverse osmosis, and ultraviolet light sterilization techniques. That's right, clean water right from the air you breathe. Order today by calling 1-800-691-6043. That's 1-800-691-6043. Or visit Ecola Blue on the web at www.ecoloblue.com today. That's ecolablue.com. This is Alex Jones, and I want to tell you again about a company that has supported us in the truth movement for years. Inner Health Botanicals. This company produces the highest quality superfood around, called Inner Food. My wife just loves the stuff. And now, the Health Ranger, Mike Adams, has awarded Inner Food his Editor's Choice Award, or Best Superfood of 2009. Inner food is loaded with 20 great organic ingredients. No fillers, no sweeteners. It would be impossible to blend this up for a better price. And their formula really works. This is the real thing for the great health you need. Try the Nutra Cafe, their great organic coffee infused with polysaccharides that boosts the immune system. A truly healthy coffee that tastes great. And take it from me, folks, it really does taste great. Don't forget to try their other great products. Go to www.enerfood.com. That's www.enerfood.com. Or just click on their banner on Infowars.com for special pricing. Big Brother. Mainstream Media government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Final segment with Dr. Bob Bowman here in studio with us. Coming up in the next segment for the rest of the hour, we've got Reverend Ted Pike joining us to break down the hate crimes legislation. It's past the house. And it's so draconian, and it makes my head spin. I mean, it just outright gets rid of the First Amendment. Okay, Bob, you were continuing. You know, looking at Obama, everything that Clinton set up was a foundation for Bush. Everything Bush set up was a foundation now uh, for Obama. And Obama, whether it's draconian gun control or expanding wars uh, or bringing in more corporate lobbyists or banking looting, it doesn't matter what it is, or a tax on free speech with all this legislation, I mean, it's even got my head spinning that they're moving this fast and they're getting so much of it passed or on the verge of passing. Is, is this the system starting to panic or in your view, I mean, speak to that. Do you agree they're rushing things right now? And why are they rushing things? Is it because things are going so well or is this a failing forward because they see the audit of the Fed building? They see people becoming knowledgeable about the power structure and its architecture. They see the military waking up. Uh, uh, what's happening? Oh, I think they're very worried. They're worried about uh, all of us dissenters. They're worried about uh, uh, Ron Paul and Dennis Kucinich working together, all friends of mine. They're worried about the 9-11 truth movement. They're worried about Obama and their control over him. I think they're greatly worried, and they're trying to get done what they need to get done. I sent Obama uh, an inaugural address. He didn't use it. Uh, but uh, those are the things that he ought to to do. He needs to reverse course. He needs to 
uh, get rid of all 1,100 signing statements of George W. Bush and promise that he's not going to do that because the Constitution doesn't give the president the power to make legislation or unmake it. It gives that to the Congress, the people's representatives. He needs to uh, do away with presidential directives 20 and 51, which give him dictatorial powers. He needs to, to tell Congress that they've got to repeal the misnamed Patriot Act and the Military Commissions Act. He has to get rid of all of the executive orders and legislation which is the foundation of martial law and the incarceration of the uh, U.S. citizens.